Our Father in Johnny Heaven, that be thy name, that kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts to us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from all evil. For God is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. so amazing your love for me is so amazing you use your strength in me for every blessing give one to me for every blessing you use your strength in me. I don't deserve your love, your tender mercy, and I for your grace. Where would I be? It's so amazing. Your love for me is so amazing. You use your strength in me for every blessing. Give up to me for every blessing. You use your strength. In me, I don't deserve your love, your tender mercies, and I for your grace. Where would I? I stand amazed at your power. I stand amazed at your grace. I stand amazed at your power. So amazing. Amazing, I stand amazed at your power. I stand amazed at your grace. I stand amazed in your power. So amazing, amazing, so amazing, amazing, so. Amazing, so amazing, amazing, so amazing.
with the worship service, the singing, and the preaching. So come on in and take a seat and enjoy the service.
wasn't me, amen, with me, amen. Because they didn't know what I was going to do. That's all right. And sometimes you can't tell what you're going to do yeah. before you do. Amen. Just be quiet. That's it. That's it. Everybody, amen. amen. Love, amen. And when I talk about this, amen, I get excited. Yes. Don't, let me, don't let me talk about it, amen, because I get teared out. But ain't nothing wrong. I just be happy. Yeah. I'm just a happy man, amen, when it comes to Jesus. I mean, I get mad about something else you try food me that money. Mm. But if we got Jesus, I might start to cry. Mm. Amen. God, amen, said now. Amen. We're going to some Romans, amen, 8 right. and 28. Oh, okay. And it came, amen, this week, amen. I've been looking at this, amen. Go ahead, left it, amen, come back to it. And then you know how you leave it and come back to it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And then you pray about it and then go back to it again. Yeah. That's what amen. But sometimes, amen, amen, it's. Amen. He let you know, amen, the reason why, amen. And I began to think, Lord, why is this year? Why this is so important? Yes, Lord. But he went on to say, he said, now, that 28th verse of Romans 8, he said, and he said, and we know all things yes. work together for the good of them right, that Lord. love God. Yes. To them who are called according to his purpose. My Lord, yes, yes. He said, for whom he had did uh, uh, foreknown, he also did predestined uh -huh. to be conformed to the image of, of his son. That we might be, I mean, be the first among many brothers. Moreover, who he had, who he did predestine, them he also called. Uh -huh. And who he called them, he also justified. And who he justified, them he also glorified. And then they now. That 31 said this, this thing here. He said, What shall then we say uh -huh. to these things? Yeah, God. If God be for yeah, us, yeah, who can be against us? What a message, amen. So, Lord, it began to work on me on this. So, I read the whole thing, amen. Again, amen. Think about the, the past, amen. We were coming through this thing, amen, when God told me to go. Scared to know what I was going to do, amen. And I thought about it, Lord, how I'm going to do this thing. And I said, Lord, amen. And so, you know, sometimes, amen, you have to try God to see. Yeah. Sometimes God wants you to make a move. And so, sometimes, amen, doing something for the Lord, amen. 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 Sometimes, amen, calls you to step out your comfort zone. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. See what he said now? He said, he said, and we know that all things, oh, yeah. amen, work together for the good. He talking to church folks. Amen. He know he let know we always like that first part of that scripture. But we forget about the second part, amen. When God working amen, in our lives for the good. Uh -huh. Amen. When he do that, amen, one writer says, but not to that which is easy on easy street. They mean well, it ain't gonna be on easy street. So I said, Lord, I said, I see why amen, this scripture, amen, is good to me, amen, because well, it won't on, it won't on easy street. I mean, he built something, amen, he, he put something in me, a drive, amen, that I can't explain. Amen, something, amen, 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 and he, and he, and I had a talk. And certain time, amen, when God do certain things, he do things in different times. And it bothered me so, amen, because I'm a person, amen, when I want to do something, I want to do it right then. I don't want to wait, amen, I want to, but God do things, amen, in time. And so I did something crazy. I told something, I said, Lord, I can't go out and preach, amen, because, amen, I don't speak that well, amen. And I, amen, I don't even have no chairs. Amen. And and lady, I told the lady, I said, lady, Lord want me to go. He the spirit been working on me. I've been trying to fight. She said, Well, we just did start something crazy. So, well, just go see what you can find on Craigslist. Y'all, I went on there. I said, Lord, I don't have no chairs. I said, if it meant for me to go, and I'll find some chairs on Craigslist. Went on Craigslist, and this church remodeling had brand new chairs y'all had never been touched. With my name on it, y'all. <laughs> Yes, indeed, amen. When you sitting on your cushion seat, nah, amen, because with, with the name on amen, God had already predestined. Oh, God, God. Said, oh, God. Oh, God. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. See, they came from college, y'all. Amen. They can help you out. So God always, amen. He they what? He never, amen. He said he'll never leave me nor forsake. Yes, yes. See, you got to make Hebrews, amen, 13 and 5. Oh, my right he gave me that way, amen. Mother Paul, when I was in, amen, in the midst of my tub when yes. everybody had left me, amen. Left me all alone. He said, I'll never leave. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Glory. Yes, yes. Woo! I told you. You know what I'm saying? I take a station break now. I ain't got to sit away, man. I just broke down, y'all. Yeah. Because I was talking to people that were going to help me, amen, were going to help me. Amen. There was nobody around to help me. Yeah. And he just, he just quietly in a whisper voice. Okay. He said, I never leave you. Don't forsake you. Glory to God. Yeah. And then he, and y'all had to throw another one. He said, and then he went, Matthew 28. Mm -hmm. Amen. And 20. He said, Lord, I am with you. Yes, what you say? Good yes, Lord. What you he say? got to that point, amen. Yeah. Hey, when he got to that point, amen, I had to gird up myself, amen, get myself together. Yes. And my wife said, what the computer from y'all? Yeah, God. Amen, this stuff is the past. She ain't been trying to tell me you always have, you have a good help, because you ain't got nobody else. Yeah. She ain't with me, amen. We're we going to go down and sing, striding together. Yeah. Glory to God. Now, she might be fooling me, but she said, you know what? Glory to God. She might change your mind, but she's going down with me. <laughs> Glory to God. She said, I'm with you, baby. Amen. Whatever you need, amen, I'm there for you. All right, amen. And we got those chairs, y'all, amen. When we got down there, yeah, amen, it was just minutes of that. And you know when you try and do something for the Lord, you can't find no help. And we got that old beat-up trailer that I borrowed, didn't have a trailer. And when I got there, the preacher told me, he said, dude, come with help, amen, because I cannot, I don't have nobody to help you. And Lord, y'all, when I got there, I was so tired. I don't know why that day I was so tired, maybe because of Worry about everything else, amen. Because God did something. That's all right. That, amen, that couldn't be done. Amen. I went on Craig and found these things, and, amen, and the price was right. You know, the price was right, the price was right. I got so happy that the price was right. right. Oh, God, he said, I got a hundred chains. Come on. And you don't come get them, amen. It's, it's, I ain't going to hold them for nobody. And I called that preacher. I said, look, I said, I want them chairs. I want a hundred chairs. So I went down there. He said, I already sold 20. I said, well, you only got 80. He said, I only got 80 left. I said, I want them 80. Uh -huh. And listen, y'all, 80, all I need. Look God knows what you need. Know what you need. Oh, yeah. 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 So in my mind, I thought, yeah. Yeah. Before, you even, before you call, I already have. I already have. Uh, no yeah. station break, motherfucker. Oh, the station break. Down. You mess this motherfucker. The station break right now. <laughs> and when, he, when I got there, amen, I was so tired. And I'm a pretty strong guy, amen. But them things were so far. I don't know how folk had a church. Walked them stairs. We had to tote them things down, amen. Ten deep, amen. Wrapped in plastic, y'all. And we told them all in there. I was so tired. I got down there. And one, one, and y'all don't tell me what God don't have some folks have an angel somewhere. Oh, yeah. Amen. This is a multicultural cultural church. Oh, amen. Oh, I know some of y'all, amen, deal with this. But this white, this white gentleman, he's the only one stopped. What you saying? That deacon said, hey, he's a preacher. He's a pastor. You just, you just get up on the truck. Me and your son, we gonna get this thing, man. Y'all, he just don't know how happy I was. No, oh, I got him on that trailer and I stood there and rolled over and they got him on the trailer. And Lord, that man got he he talking to Zach, he was Zach. And you know, Zach, big boy, they hold him, they talk him down, and I was just sitting on the trailer. I got there ready to hug that brother, y'all. Yeah. And I don't like to be, I ain't no big crying person. But he said, oh, no, no. His wife was mad because she was ready to go. He said, oh, no, preacher. You ain't going to stop my blessing. I said, what you said? He said, God told me to help. The preacher said, ain't that nobody going to be there to help. But God has somebody. Right there out of flower hearse. Stop told his wife. Hold on a minute. God got work for me to do. And I reached my pocket to pay that brother. Person, you can't pay me. And we hugged out there on, on what that street was down there in uh, Long. We got there on the street, downtown hugging. I know they said, what the world? I'm black, that black and white man out of hugging folks. And we begin to shout. Yeah, yeah. Woo! But y'all know I ain't got no sin. Start to cry. We got to cry that old preacher that told me he came out and they didn't want to see. Gave me the most of them. We 
chairs on there. Amen. I wasn't really worried about the chair, but this cross he gave me, it just did something to me. Because he gave me this. And I had it laying free. And we drove it on down the road. Amen. I tried to put plastic on. It kept coming off. And I got outside the road. I had to pull side the road. Mother. Amen. Got out. Amen. Looked at it. Amen. And I just pulled it up. He said, now you pray, you got to believe what you're praying for. Uh -huh. All right. So, holy God. He said, you got to believe. He said, now, if you pray, amen, you don't, if you said no rain, you ain't going to need no plastic. Okay. Right. So I pulled the plastic off. Yeah. Right down the interstate. Amen. All on coffee. I prayed again. Yeah. Said, Lord. Just hold back the rain until yeah. I get home. Don't let it rain, amen, until I get to my destination. And I got this, amen. When we got the jacks, y'all, mm. with no rain, y'all, when we got the chair on the porch, at this brother house, that poor be calling him up. But, amen. And when we got the pool pit, okay. set that thing on the porch and pull down. Faith them all along. Mm -hmm. 
we are considered as sheep for the slaughter. Yeah, yeah. Knowing all these things, we are more confident through him that loves us. Yeah, God. Yeah. For I am persuaded. Yeah, Neither death nor life, yeah. nor angels or demons, mm. neither the present, now or the future, nor any power, yeah. nor height, nor depth, yeah. nor any all creatures mm -hmm. yes, will be able to separate us yeah. from the love oh. of God that yeah. is in Christ Jesus yeah. our Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I got to that point, I said, Lord, amen, can nothing separate me from the love of God. Yeah. All this other stuff gonna come our way, amen. But if we hang in there, yeah. we don't make it. Yeah, God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. What amen? Amen. Amen. He says, destiny by divine decree. I mean, we hear, amen, because the divine decree, y'all. Amen. So for whatever, amen, God got for you, amen, amen, it's for you. Yes, God. Don't let what people say, amen, stop, amen, your decree that God got on your life. Amen. This story, amen, we're going to end here. He began to, amen, these boys had a problem here. Thank you. Amen. One, amen, was negative. The other one was positive. One to have a negative attitude about everything. Uh -huh. He always seen the glass half full. Mm -hmm. The other one was positive about everything. Mm -hmm. He always seen the positive about everything. And so the father, amen, were trying to get these two boys, amen, to, amen, to, amen, to have a better look, amen, on life, amen, try to get them focused on the same agenda because they were opposite of each other. And he, amen, thought in his mind, amen, I got that idea I'm going to try. Amen. So he got the first boy, amen, he put him in a room with all the toys that any child can think of. He put him inside that room. He figured, that, amen, that, amen, this boy, I'm going to put him in the center. Amen. Amen. This is going to change him. Amen. But then the second boy, amen, the positive one, that was the negative one, but the positive one, amen, he put him, amen, in a room. And he's going to put some negative in his life. Uh, in a room filled with stinky horse manure. You know, what, else, what other way you can change a positive person's attitude, amen, to put him in a room with stinky, amen, horse manure. And he put him in that room in the middle. And he left him there, amen, don't see, amen, what's going to become of the outcome. So, amen, he came back an hour later. That boy, amen, that Amen. That one he left with all the good of the toys was sitting in the corner with his thumb in his mouth. Mercy. Complaining about that. Amen. This toy, that, amen, that I really want one even in his power that you have gave me. Mm -hmm. And he thinks, right now, I think this boy, I gave him everything that every child could want. Amen. He sitting over the corner with a thumb in my mouth complaining about, it. amen. He don't have this or this was missing out of the power. He said, well, amen, he's just a, this is the way he's going to be. He's just going to be negative. So he went to the positive. This boy, amen, sitting in the middle of hot horse manure. And he's looking at this boy. He took a brief look at him and was amazed me of what he was doing. He said, what are you doing? This boy had a shovel, y'all, digging in the middle of the cow, of the horse manure. And you know, amen, a positive person just gonna stop, amen, what's going on. Look what he did. He went and got a shovel. Because we're gonna shove in the room. So when you positive, amen, you're gonna make something happen. Uh -huh. He was in the midst of cow manure, you know, I mean horse manure, digging in the, in the horse manure in the center, amen, going deep. And his dad was in the main so what are you doing? He said, Dad, I'm digging under the horse manure. He said, Why are you digging under the horse manure? Because it got to be a pony. Under there with all this uh, uh, horse manure. He said, oh, pony. He said, yeah, if I dig deep enough, I'm going to find a pony <laughs> among all this um, horse manure. So the, 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 the moral of the story is, church, we must got to dig deep. No matter how much uh, steam is around us, we got to look at the positive around us. We in this neighborhood, we in this community, we in this, all this stuff that's going on, we got to see the positive. If we keep digging, we're going to connect, amen, with Jesus. If we keep praying long enough, amen, the Lord going to step on the scene. And he going to turn this thing around. Jesus would pray. Pray to change this thing. Oh, my God.
going to be on bumpy road. Yeah. Yeah. Even though you never tried the law. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Lord. Lord. See, you are always going to be on bumpy road. Yeah. Yeah. See, you're always going to play by yeah. Mississippi yeah. streets and different things. Yeah. I mean, you're going to be on bumpy road. Because yeah. you've never been outside yeah. of the comfort zone. Mm. Get in your car. Yeah. Put some of that high price gas in your car. <laughs> Drive for us, Amy, out of this city. Yeah. The road gets smooth, y'all. So you got to keep driving right. till you get on smooth road. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got to worry about when you make this sick. You ain't got to watch the sign. The bumping up and down will let you know you the made this sick. But some of us don't have, men, have never experienced, amen, the goodness of God, amen, because we never left the comfort zone. Yeah. So we don't know how to live the house, amen, because we never left the comfort zone. Come out to a comfort zone. Get out the bumpy street.
I remember reading the word of God. It said, now I am that's able, able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you're able to act on things according to the power that worketh in you. If you can believe, you shall receive. Oh. 